part of my computer. Today we'll continue playing Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Yeah, you good? You good. Okay, great. So, where we last took off uh, was we end this house. The ghoul retainer was murdered who provided us with humans, I think. Human blood, human trafficker person. He had a family, two bodyguards, his wife might have been involved in his murder, we don't know, his bodyguards somehow didn't protect him, and, uh, you know, considering they're bodyguards, we would have expected them to be there for the murder, but, um, yeah, they guided him inside here, and then he died inside without any bodyguards of his around, which makes you question either their competence or their loyalty, for they might have been the murderers them themselves. And through the uh, invisibility breaking uh, ability here, we managed to catch the trail of this particular ghoul, who might be one of the bodyguards that looks like a police uniform. Oh, hopefully it's an ally playing at oh i i beg your pardon don't mess with me who are you calm down mr and Missouri. this is gala i meant no disrespect i love him i work for the council why would the council have sent her without warning me most of the time they send me to clean up are you behind this no i got here after it happened what's that file you've got oh an account file have it here you go okay hmm Let's see how much she knows. All right. Oh, what have you found? that removed oh, a I'm suspicious a item. I'm not really allowed to talk about my missions. <laughs> yeah, good one. No one beats the age old I don't have time for this. Give me what you have. Uh, what I've got. Of course, sir. That maybe Here. wasn't smart, but... That's everything. You made the right choice. Tell me exactly what they asked you to do. Oh. I got a message at Jara. telling me to go nice. to this address. I was supposed to pick up more and some financial documents. After that, I was supposed to wait for further instructions. Well, I hope oh, I'm not going to have any trouble. <laughs> My loyal first uh, actual viewer. I'll tell the nice to see you around. Your orders, but you'd better go. But my mission, I've got to... no questions, Lahane. Very well, Mr. Bazori. Oh, the Fall Guys stream was fantastic. <laughs> Logan's a great guy. Um, we got pretty close a couple of times, but we never actually managed to do it. But uh, we'll be trying again tomorrow, so uh, <laughs> you can watch us and see if we uh, continue failing by a hair's breadth. What I'm playing right now is a, a vampire detective game. Um, I don't know if you've heard of uh, Vampire the Masquerade. It's like a nice vampire setting. And um, I'm kind of lost as to where I was supposed to go. Last played this like... Uh, <laughs> it probably makes more sense when uh, you know the setting. It's... Uh, it's the World of Darkness setting where pretty much every single supernatural being you can think, uh, think of exists somewhere in the shadows. And the vampires have been, well, pretty much controlling the world behind the scenes with their hours of uh, making humans do as they want. You know, they have pretty much every single power any vampire in fiction ever had. Somebody slept here. And um, what's very important for the vampires is that the humans don't actually figure out they exist because um, 
Vampires might be super strong, super smart and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, it works a bit like that one. I, I think the game is bound to be similar. You also have three characters in this one, all of them vampires. And uh, our objective is mainly to find out, uh, to make sure humans don't find out about us, because yeah, uh, we are super strong and stuff like that, but like... It's one against thousand best case scenario and it's not the middle ages anymore. They have flamethrowers and those things are like a guaranteed kill against a vampire. Sorry, I'm busy. Cause yeah, bullet wounds don't do a lot, but uh Yeah. The FBI has some uh no not the SBI, uh, the Special Affairs Division, the SAD. The other girl? Which one? <laughs> You mean uh, the second character, the Toriador, uh, MM? God damn it. Oh, the uh, police officer. Well, she's not a police officer, she's, well, she is a police officer, but she's a, a puppet of the vampires who is supposed to clean up things and remove any evidence that any of us was around because you know uh where'd she go oh yeah wait i sent her away <laughs> never mind the ghoul um, was searching here was looking for something specific okay these characters uh make weird comments when looking at things like just now he said that the ghoul looking around was looking for something specific and I'm pretty sure that the ghoul he's talking about is the girl we talked to and um I mean we already talked to her we know who it is Ugh, what a mess oh yeah this text said that somewhere in the house is a hidden door you would think finding everything about the case would be pretty easy but uh I tend to miss some stuff every once in a while. Yeah, I have found two safe zones in which I could theoretically drag people in to uh, drink their blood. Hmm. I should put some money on that. Oh, when I uh, I will add channel points. Uh, I think Logan yesterday said that you have to be a uh, affiliate for that. So um, it was my greatest pleasure. Whenever that happens. Before, now everything tastes like ashes. By the way, this particular person I'm controlling right now is like 300 years old, I think, and uh, was the crown prince. What don't you get? Life? If? Yeah, life. Oh yeah, I found something funny in this, uh... <laughs> this guy has some weird mirror which, like, you can use to, I don't know, read people's horoscopes or something. Um, which probably has some kind of easter egg in there somewhere. Or the weather, which is nice to find out whatever 60 degrees Fahrenheit is supposed to be. And then they have a telephone, which, um, doesn't really work. Uh, so I tried, you know, just, uh... Like, you, you know, let's just call the police here. Someone died here. The number you have dialed is not in service. And that's a serious problem when the state doesn't have a working police department. I assume they just uh, say the number is not uh, in service no matter what I call, the but uh, seriously, the police. Too abstract for some people. Bottle of disinfectant. Obviously handled by someone who was bleeding. It must have been used to dress a wound. Right now I'm rushing through stuff I already found last stream, but uh... 
Like the golds over here suggest I haven't exactly found everything yet. I mean, I want to find everything. <laughs> that TV series? Oh! It does kind of look like Lucifer. A bit. Yeah, you know, I am playing the guy who can look in people's eyes and... Well, he can give them commands and tell them what to do, which isn't exactly Lucifer, but... Uh, Lydia and June at the beach. I actually watched uh, Lucifer, like, completely. Great actor. Oh, this is actually <laughs> probably very close to Lucifer. Oh! Okay, this is something I didn't notice last time. Um... I can activate super senses and, uh, yeah. So... Wait. Okay, this is, um... <laughs> one five nine vo V is sadly the uh, lock-in thing, so, um, we'll wait, but, uh, wait, it's 1, 4, 9, and 0. 1, 4, 9, 0, um, this guy's daughter like to play with some, uh, simple, simple number, uh, encryptions. Like, you know, every number stands for a letter or something. Um, maybe he played around with that when... Well, it's simple because, you know, if you simply know her code, it's very easy to crack. Okay, it's 1, 4, 9, and 0. Did she actually use 0? Waiting for the forensics. Uh, no, this is. This was a uh, friend's letter that told her that some boy is interested in her. Uh, somewhere around here is the whole. Oh yeah, there for example, she wrote five eight six three, and that uh means June, apparently. A bathroom with a shower and a tub. June's father spoils her. Yeah, the guy who died was pretty rich. You must be Smith. Yes. Rickman. Have you found anything? Oh. Not yet. This is the girl's room. I have noticed. There's no sign of her. I guess that's a good thing. I'm going to take a look around. Oh yeah, right. Let me know if you find anything. No one actually okay, knows Smith. where this guy's daughter is. And people seem happy about that, but um you know, it certainly is possible that the daughter is, you know, staying over at a friend's house or something, but I don't know, I'd be pretty alarmed if a person died and no one could find their daughter. It seems like something that should be a bit more alarming. Oh, four would be an I. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I even know why he's rich. It's because he uh, did... Well, it does seem like he was a good uh, financial stockbroker, I guess. He did some investment stuff. But I assume he mainly got rich because we, as the vampire community, um, paid him to smuggle humans to us so we can drink their blood. His daughter killed him is... Okay, wait. L let me show you his corpse. Like, this is a world with supernatural things, so his daughter could be like, I don't know, some kind of fake creature, but... Um, Yeah, um, 
he was beheaded with a sword. Like, I don't know. <laughs> he was decapitated. It was a pretty clean In cut. In a pretty clean cut word. Yeah, um... I'd assume probably Sorry, not. I'm busy. Uh, fun thing is, this guy had two bodyguards. Um, and they should have been in the building with him, and suddenly he's dead and no one knows where the bodyguards are. That's very much suspicious, and one of the cops had this wild theory of uh, the bodyguard having like an affair with the guy's wife, and out of jealousy he killed him or something, and uh, I told him that sounds like the, a weird TV show you seriously shouldn't. Oh, yep. Well, I, I don't know if they're in this game, but they're in the setting. Like, Vampire the Masquerade is part of a huge setting with a lot of games. And yeah, werewolves in this game, as like in uh, the World of Darkness, are seriously bad news because um, I think they hard counter vampires in every aspect. I mean, we have. We as the vampires. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, in. Um, I, I think, like, every supernatural race is at war with the vampires. Probably. Um, but yeah. Uh, we control the stock markets and stuff like that, and. Uh, they can cut us into meat if they want to. Can't this guy have lived in a smaller house? CSU for that. Oh? Find anything? Nothing yet. Yeah, no. I still believe these numbers have to mean something. Interesting. Is in there. Um, me walking through the house trying to find out where I am. Um, this guy could have seriously lived in a smaller house. And I'm trying to find out if this whole uh, number thing his daughter liked so much uh, is in any way case relevant. <clears throat> is in. Wait. Wait. That's real weird. Like it says eight nine five three seven, and the seven is an R, but then it says four seven, and suddenly the seven is an S. How's that work? Okay, maybe I'm putting more thought into this whole thing than the developers did, or um, 
There's some clue I'm not getting. <laughs> That's really weird. Oh? I don't know. It's possible. Oh yeah, here in the upper right, 9484. The 4 means an I and an H at different positions. Okay, maybe it's not such a simple number encryption. God. This daughter was up to some weird things. And down here she underlined the words is in, which I guess might mean something. I mean, that's a uh, four seven four six or seven four six. No, probably doesn't mean anything. There. Yeah, and I, I was thinking it might be connected to the father's safe, but one four seven and zero were the numbers, and like. The daughter apparently didn't use any zeros or ones, so <clears throat> probably not connected. I think his safe was a sixth number code, which is sadly too many numbers to brute force. Although brute forcing is probably not what the a souvenir from the game wanted me to do exchange. One four oh no, it was one four nine zero, not seven zero, but they st she still didn't use any ones or zeros. Yeah, six and it does use those four numbers. And the enter key, obviously. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm currently in. Uh, the father did seem to have some kind of uh, problem with some people. Uh, like, from what I found out last stream, it's that it seems like the father knew that something was coming after him. Like, he sent his wife away. Well, maybe she was already away. Their relationship wasn't that amazing. Sorry, Agent Smith, but I'm a little busy right now. Also, I really like uh, this character's sense of humor. And uh, I think he doesn't really understand a lot of pop culture considering he's 300 years old. No, um, his daughter use his daughter likes going on vacations with their mother and the mother likes going to her home country and uh, like she's an architecture designer person and she likes to build houses on the beach and stuff like that. But this time explicitly her daughter did not come along. Deeds, stock portfolios. Which is very the much um, the Camarillas business. You know, weird. Uh, I think I think he forbid her from coming, but I'm not sure. Something like that. So the guy obviously knew that something was up and was still missing both of his bodyguards. Who did a terrible job of protecting him. From what we know, he was first attacked outside of the house and uh, brought in by his bodyguards up to his floor, and then the bodyguards disappeared, but he died as well. So it does look a lot like, um, oh yeah, right, Costa Rica, that's where she's from. It really... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not even sure if, you know, this type, like the level of smartness and thinking 
I'm trying to do is even necessary because, I mean, My sire it hasn't gotten me too far. Court, like in a game of chess, <laughs> you must yeah, know when to his wife's. your pawns. Oh yeah, there is, by the way, a chance that one of our people just killed him because, I don't know, he knew too much or someone was onto him or something. So there's a chance this whole investigation is just uh, not really necessary since we're kind of... We're vampires, we don't really care about what humans do. Yeah, it, it, it is a smart game, but you know how in Detroit Become Human, like, you have to... Ah, no, he just comments about how his uh, sire, so the guy who made him a vampire, told him that... Uh, you know, being a ruler in the shadows is a lot like chess, where you need to know when to sacrifice your pawns. And the fact he's saying this sounds a bit like the guy who died might have been a pawn who was sacrificed. But I mean, in Detroit Become Human, you just have to pick up the correct items, you know, at the correct point in time. And I'm not sure if this game actually requires you to think or to just find the correct objects and inspect them. Like, I don't know... Yeah, it does. Um, the problem is the chessboard is 8 times 8 so there's uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, yeah, and the numbers 1 to 8 and he used the number 9 and 0 which, um, wait. Oh, E is just, uh, <laughs> I was confused why there was an E and a V. What do, I, what do the letters stand for? Wouldn't E be enter? But V is enter? Nah, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter because E clears the numbers and he didn't use that. Why the hell did the guy go to a safe? Like, what, what I was saying about this being a smart game, it's entirely possible that I have to figure out his save by doing some number substitution encryption key, but it's also possible... Yeah, exactly. It's also possible that it's someone's birthday, or it's possible that he just has a piece of paper lying around which um, just has the code written on it and I just... Uh, don't find it, didn't find it yet. So I'm not sure how much thinking this game requires on my part and how much when I'm thinking I'm just overthinking the whole thing. Because it might be a lot simpler than I think it is. Like I also, I still have to get used to this game. Like he has a number code and an entire room full of um, things. And I don't know, maybe the answer to all the questions for stuff in here is also in here. Or maybe it's on the other side of the house. But yeah, birthday is uh, entirely possible. Plausible even. Um, yeah. I don't know, I also thought the mirror might mean something. The fact it claims that uh, the police is not in service is a bit weird. Yeah, newspaper. I think these are probably just horoscopes for the characters when you find out like their birthday or something. The weather, well, 5th of September 2019, I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't think any of that is relevant. 
His ability to pick up hidden details also doesn't show me anything around here. I just run around it. Um, interesting about this, um, about this investigation is I can just stop at any time, because finding out who the killer is isn't actually my mission here. It's to you know remove evidence that vampires exist. So I have found quite some reports about people connected to us and I have taken them with me but I'm still missing two so there yeah I huh you managed to calm him down I thought that would be impossible yes and he was able to answer a few questions yeah I um talked to the caretaker of the house he had a I've just got one more question yes w what do you want to know oh Wow, and I thought he actually had a question. <laughs> I, I asked him about here. whether, Thank um, you. like, the dead guy had any enemies or something, about his relationship with his family. And, well, there was a skill check I, uh, didn't accomplish, which was to find out if his wife had any kind of affair or something. So maybe his wife was seeing another person? It's possible. The guy and his wife really didn't have a good relationship. What a mess. Which might be connected to um Jason, Lydia and June. Yeah, Jason, Lydia all together and in large format. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, I don't think so, but um, I think he did know about her. Some he must have kn known something about her that he didn't want to tell me. And I feel it might be. <laughs> you know, they, in in that case, he could come out and tell me what uh, I want to know. That'd be useful. What's this room for? By the way, this guy here, uh, Galop, has some um, very dry reactions to people. Like this guy who was vomiting because, uh, you know, all the blood around. And he said, uh, his friend said, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, wait, this is your future job? There are bloody prints on these bags. Oh, really? I mean, these are... <laughs> I don't think you should be seeing your job around here. Um, there's two police officers. There's two police officers, one who's writing down something, one who's vomiting in the sink because he's seen too much blood, and a couple of pizzas stocked and tap on top of each other. When I um, him, he took better care of himself. What's going on with him? What's going on with him? Seriously, Galeb, he is dead. Nothing's going on with him. Oh, yeah, there's, there's still the funny thing that, you know, his head is missing, so technically we don't know that that is actually his body. Like... My sire always said that at a prince's court, like in a game of chess, Let me get you out must of know when to sacrifice your pawns. Unskippable comments. Like, I know for a fact that there's an entire room that I'm missing. And I could just leave at any point, but you know, I'm kind of stubborn. In situations like these, uh, oh yeah, right, 
I actually know that this place has a hidden room somewhere. I found uh, a brochure, I guess, that said like um, we offer the installation of hidden doors and um, I think it was around here somewhere. This one? No. A Boston manufacturer's files. Yeah, no. The guy's just rich. The mayor's deeds. Oh, yeah. The mayor's probably corrupt and uh, deeds, a puppet of the vampires. Portfolios. Moore doesn't just manage the Camarillas business. By the way, when he's saying Camarilla, uh, that's our vampire organization. The ghoul who was searching here was looking for something specific. Yeah, um. The, vamp uh, the mayor's oh, wife or spouse, I don't think it said the gender is, I think, a vampire herself, but I'm not too sure about that one. Somehow connected to some witch coven thing. Because there's uh, vampire witches. Who can use their blood to uh, make people explode and stuff. They are very scary and they just uh, they spend their time making an enemy out of like deeds. everyone because people need them and killing them is very hard but they're bound to die at some point when pro people actually find a way to deal with them. Uh, Tremere is what they're called. Well, the death seemed to have come because of a, a clean cut. Sure thing. I'm quick tonight. Oh yeah, and uh, Gadab has the ability to see when uh, supernatural stuff happened. And I don't think he found any on the body. If I remember correctly, I think that it said that hidden rooms could be installed in bath or something but I don't see anything yeah does the game like keep track of an investigation that'd be cool hey uh, that is actually that's very uh possible I think it's probable. Vampires like sending humans to do stuff. Because it doesn't bring them into danger. And again, uh, the humans have started this thing they call the Second Inquisition, where they are hunting supernatural stuff, and um, we don't want to fight those people. They are very very dangerous because once you know what a vampire's weakness is they're actually really easy to kill i mean yeah sunlight and stuff but again the flamethrower example vampires are really weak against fire uh, i'm not even finding that weird brochure thing okay wait what's this Oh well, yeah, if, my, if vampires go outside during the daytime, they, you know, burn to death. Wow, even more pizza. Hmm. I should put some money on that. Are you... Okay, I think this police officer is actually just looking at the financial predictions and trying to find out how to get rich himself. But you know, I respect, but... Um, We've got a job to do. By the way, this guy here just ran into the house, put like a fake special investigator FBI patch on him and just said, um, 
Maybe. Um, and just said like, yeah, I'm uh, Special Agent Smith. Uh, let me in. Tell me everything you know. And people just didn't question it. There was this one person who was like Agent Smith, really. Um, possibly referencing Matrix, but uh, Gator, I don't think has seen that movie. He's not a, a movie person. Oh, that's nice. Wait. If you call me old, then... Uh... Wait, did you call me old or did you call the vampire old? <laughs> because if you called me old, then Matrix is definitely older than you. Oh, yeah. Ugh, what a mess. What are you watching? Uh, I watch Netflix on Google. Excuse me. Ugh, what a mess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course, but uh, you know, the movie is from 1999. Has amazing special con uh, effects, considering that. The ghoul who was searching here was looking for something specific. It's amazing how Matrix just uh, got worse and worse with every single movie. It's impressive, really. But I mean, even the last part was still a decent action movie. Marvel? Dude, were you storing liquor bottles beneath your desk? Wow. That's kind of impressive. This guy had a weird work ethic. Come on, where did I find that piece of information I was looking for? It was... somewhere... I think it was on the top floor. Oh, damn it. Hmm. Sorry, Smith. A little busy here. What is that guy taking a picture of? Oh, a thrown mug. Wait. Oh, God, what does that say? <laughs> 201, 2019. Call Pura Vida. Who is Pura Vida? Wait. August? No, we are in September, the 5th of September. Okay, I think this is his wife's, actually. It talks about architecture. Pura Vida. What's that supposed to be? Hmm. I'd like to, but uh, not allowed. Ugh. What a stench. How does this guy have such a bad kitchen? Oh. oh there are blood stains on the garbage chute. Okay, please tell me someone put his head in there and just threw it in the garbage. <laughs> oh. There are blood stains on the garbage chute. That's a great way of getting rid of a head. Um Imagine what? The head in the garbage? Or. Oh, there's even more bottles. It does seem like this Jason person was a bit messed up. 
possibly connect to the fact he was smuggling humans for vampires. Okay, maybe something on here. One six or nineteen seventy seven. First of June, nineteen seventy seven. That's some numbers that are in the safe. No, are all of those? Okay, maybe it was actually his own birthday, which is a terrible way to choose a password. I mean, at least take your wife's or something. Ah, no, it isn't. Yeah, we do have the 0 and the 19, but not... Yeah, okay, worth a try. <laughs> Okay, worth a try. There can't be that many numbers in this house. <laughs> One of them has to mean something. Is the room where I can't interact with anything? Also, uh, Gadeb made a comment about how his wife has this tiny office and he has a giant one. Um. He felt that might mean that he values himself more than his wife. <laughs> might be a connection there. Nah, I think the guy just liked himself a lot. Well, interesting part, actually, it seems like both of them really like their daughter, just... Uh, they treated her in different ways. Like, the mother was the actual parent and uh, the strict parent, and he just gave her whatever she wanted because... Hey! Ravida! That's who you're supposed to call in an emergency. Great! What if? Ravida is a code. Well, let's see. Oh, you're right, because turning turning numbers into letters is hard because the same number can mean multiple letters, but a letter can only mean uh, a number can only mean a single letter, but a letter can mean multiple numbers. Um Yeah. Where's Oh, wait. A is 1, B is 2. No, no, okay. No, it's not that simple. Oh, I think I know how the data system works. A, B, C is 1. D, E, F is... I don't know. No? That's again wrong. Okay. Pravida? I mean... Possible? Okay. Okay, let's say, uh... Wait. I'm gonna... Write in the chat. Pravida, the P would be a 7, the U would be an 8, the R is a 7, the A, what's the A? Oh, ah, uh, the number substitution doesn't have an A. Okay, let's put that one as unknown. Vida is 8. I is 4, D is 3, and A is again unknown. 
787 unknown 843 unknown. Hmm. You... If I now just knew what an A is, that would be useful. Why does your number substitution not use an A? Your friend's name is Mag. If you don't have an A, you can't even encrypt her name. Yeah, Meg. By the way, I have no idea how old this child is. I just know that her diary writes that she's sick of her father lying and making her mother cry. This child had some serious uh, there. problems in her life. Oh yeah. The mother gave, uh, said that her mother was right about what she said about the father. That might have meant that she wasn't supposed to marry him, and maybe they were actually very far away uh, apart from each other. Interesting. <laughs> I'm sick of eating pizza. You guys are rich. Why are you only eating pizza? Yeah, I mean, okay, the father doesn't... Poor kid. I don't think the man wanted money. I mean, he's the rich, rich person. He must have married her for some reason. And he does I don't think he had uh did he have chefs and cooks? Interesting. Uh Oh, the daughter wants to open a bakery with Mag. I mean, she's gonna inherit some serious amount of money now that her father's dead, so, you know. She'll probably be able to do that. But there's also a pretty good chance she's moving to Costa Rica, so, um... Hmm. Did you inherit your mother's artistic talent, Jill? I don't know, she might stop seeing her friend because of it. That would be kind of sad. Also, you know, this room looks pretty awesome, but I don't think I would have wanted to live in this room as a child. I I don't have the worst fear of heights, but this is very high. Way too high for me. Also, this girl had a lot of stuff. Well, still has. And I try to turn Pura Vida into something. Oh. Oh. Um, this is how our encryption works. It's just 2 is ABC, 3 is DEF, 4 is GHI. So it's 
Pura Vida. Let's just do it once again. It's seven, yes. Eight. Um, seven again. Yeah, that's right. Two, eight, four, three, two. Ooh. Oh! The phone was never meant to be a phone. You can't call anyone. Oh, um, yeah, you know, I'd like to go in there, but it's a point of no return. Um, so that means, uh, I don't know if I should go there. I still haven't cracked the safe yet. Oh wait, while I'm at it, it's one, four, six, and zero. Oh, but zero doesn't mean anything. So, no, one, four, nine, zero is what his safe used as numbers, but neither one nor zero means anything, so I think there's a pretty good likelihood that um, the save is in no way connected to the numbers. Also, it's a six number code and neither his wife nor his child have a six letter name. Okay, but that's actually awesome. That's a... Uh, that means that there's another way to end the mission than just walk out the front door, which is really good. 1490. Yeah. It's just. 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I don't think. Huh. By the way, it required a skill check to get this information. It must be important somewhere. Oh! Oh wait, this is today. He chartered a heavy jet for a Boston-Hong Kong trip today at 4.54 in the morning. And he did it two days before today. This is the fourth? Oh, he didn't answer any call on the fourth? And... And he already had problems before the start of the month, so... I think the guy really prepared his... I don't know. It might have been that he was scared and he knew trouble was coming, so he ran. But it also might be that he stopped responding to people he didn't want to work with because we made him do some messed up stuff. So maybe he just didn't want to work for us anymore and faked his own death to run away. I think that is a distinct possibility because we don't know any head or anything. We have just seen his body and it hasn't gone to forensics or anything. So we can't actually prove that that guy is himself. The only reason we think that it is Jason Moore is because he had his um, uh, identifying plastic card. What's it called? So I had a feeling at the start that it might not actually be his body. And considering that he had booked a flight today, like it, 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 the fact he had a flight today could either mean that he tried to run but he couldn't, like the danger got him before he could run, or it means that the fact he was attacked today was not a coincidence and he actually wanted to run away today and he wanted the attack to happen. I think it's possible he isn't dead yet. Hmm. 
Let's just look for any numbers. A fortress security catalog. Oh, yeah, they this was the one. Highly secure rooms. To protect your valuable personal belongings and important documents, the safe in a wall has a 15 point locking point system, high grade steel, unbreakable door. It's a concealed emergency exit. Hydraulic technology, that's some. Yeah, a secret tunnel. Consider the hidden weapon rack. <laughs> Keep within reach of you, but not your children. Yeah, good idea. Oh, it can. It has independent ventilation and water supply. Comfortable survival space to keep four people safe under any conditions. Oh. That means he and his two bodyguards and his daughter might actually all be in that room. You got it? The ghoul you got who was what? searching here was looking for something specific. The safe code? I, yeah, well, tell me. Daughter room, yeah. Pictures? Did you look up the answer or something? The pictures? If you, if, if in, in case, by the way, you did look it up, um, Jason and Jim thank you, I was probably on a close to doing it. Um, wait, you saw it? Wow. Oh, June celebrating her fourth birthday. Zero four zero nine. Ha, huh. that's a problem. Because yeah, it did use zero. It did use four. It did use nine, but fifteen. It didn't use a five. Zero four zero nine. Fifteen would probably June celebrating her fourth birthday. The girl is four? Oh, I just noticed. It was her birthday yet, uh, yesterday. Gonna have to congratulate her when we see her. I assume we'll see her. Because there's a safe room and the daughter can't be found and it's a panic room that can last her for quite some time. Yeah. Zero four zero nine. But after that, yeah. Hmm. No. Four nine. 2015. Yeah, the day, the month, yeah, 0409, and then, but the year is 2015, and um, it doesn't use the number 5. Or it's 2015, but it doesn't use the 2 either. Uh, I mean, I can just do it, but yeah. But that's, that's way too close for it not to be, I mean, I mean, come on, it's six letter, like six numbers is perfect for birth dates. I don't know, is there anything else that might, maybe you got the birthday wrong? No, he didn't. Um, hmm. What weird, this, this answer just seems so correct. It makes so much sense. There. And maybe I just got Jim's something. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, no, it's 0409-2015. Yeah, it's her fourth birthday, uh, fourth birthday, and it's 2019, so... That works. What a cute little child. June dressed up for Halloween. Yeah, uh... It doesn't use the two either, it's... It uses the one, four, nine, and zero. Yeah, no, it's right. It's uh, no, no, not eight, but yes, zero, four, zero, nine, but fifteen or twenty, twenty-one. Oh, I, I guess it might be. Why not try it? Always looking out for something hidden. Okay, I think the called Pura Vida thing uh, showed that this game actually does require a bit of uh, smart. That's not good. Oh, no. Zero four zero nine, and you said no. Twenty one is can't be that. Zero one, no. So zero four zero nine twenty one. Also no way. Four zero nine. Hmm. Yeah. I just think it uses a suspicious amount of her birth date. Like out of the four numbers we are allowed to use, the birth date has three of them. It just seems weird to be a coincidence. Hmm. I should put some money on that. I mean, I. Just continue looking for things. Uh, by the way, this game is a bit of a role-playing game. Where you have, um, you know, skills. And you can just hack that save if you have a skill of 4 in it. And let me just show you the character sheet. Um, Gadab has pretty much every one of his skills on level 1. And you can hack it with a level 4 skill. That's just crazy. Who has that amount of hacking on a 300-year-old vampire? That just seems uh, excessive. <laughs> uh, I did choose the all-rounder template for him. Poems in Lydia's mother tongue. The daughter of the flowers. Hmm. Well, connected to his wife and mother-in-law. Who the hell is Emily? Uh, no, I didn't play it. Well, the caretaker was, I think, really sure that the father did, in fact, not have a lover. Emily. Emily. Well, it might be that Lydia had an affair with Emily. That's probably her side of the bed, and this is his. Just for the fact that I think it's unlikely that her side of the bed has a picture of her. That's a bit... Um... <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'd like to...
call the woman and ask her what the safe combination is, but uh, I don't have a working phone since I know that the mirror doesn't work. So this room together with this hint allowed us to open the safe room down there, no down here, so this area is probably finished. Oh wait, can I inform the police of... Find anything? Nothing yet. Nope, I can't. Yep, sure. Uh, let's... Yeah, uh, just to recount what happened. This guy said, um, you know, he wanted to ask the caretaker. Who, uh, he was, by the way, the one who called the cops because um, the father was injured when he came home and the bodyguards told him that everything's all right and he's not allowed to uh, see the guy, which is pretty normal in case he was attacked by a supernatural creature you wouldn't want the, any doctor to look at it because that would just be suspicious and they told him that everything's fine but when he then later came to check on the father no one opened the door so he called the cops and when the cops came in they found the body they told the caretaker to work to wait outside but the caretaker uh, didn't listen to them he just rushed in and saw the headless corpse so uh, he was um, in a very bad mental uh, situation but I actually managed to convince him question. of you know it's yes. not your fault you just did what you what had you to do to there know. was nothing you could have done um, and I actually made him uh, stabilize so he could I answer some questions here. thank you and I pretty much got everything out of him I could, except for that the wife might have been having an affair. To that he just said, you know, of course not, but um, a skill check suggests that uh, I could have found out more. Ah, uh, she's four. Born 2015. Dinner of a mortal who's at the end of their rope. She was born 2015, and yesterday was in fact her fourth birthday. Which is probably part of the reason why she's upset, is because her father, you know, was doing something on her birthday that wasn't connected to her. Which might have been fleeing the country. To be fair, but... D what is this room? I mean, yeah, I get it, this is the storage area, but... This room doesn't actually have anything of interest in it. Fine vintages imported from Europe. Uh, nine September. Guests. So zero four zero nine was uh, very much a good idea. It totally fit how um, the safe was built. Wait, if I walk here, why one one? I mean, if you say so, I'll try it, but, uh... Um... I'm sure. <laughs> Why don't? Okay, I just uh, try to see if, um, you actually have to put in four or uh, six numbers, but, uh... Yeah, you do. What's stopping you from doing it anyway? Yeah, I mean... Why did that work? Excuse me? <laughs> Cross, can, can you tell me why that worked? I, I get that I'm confused. Why are you confused? Your combination worked. A thank you letter from Fortress Security. After the installation of a system for more, maybe he kept it for reference. I've already heard about this company somewhere. Blood. 
You mean she's born in 2015? She is four, so you said it's 11, but it's 2019, so she was born in 15. Okay, I, I didn't want to look anything up for this game, but when I'm done for this, I have to look up how to solve this puzzle, because we just... That's weird. Uh, oh, and he has, uh, this is one of the files I meant to secure, so uh, no mortal eyes, eyes fall upon it. Um, then strict compliance. Hey, I, mean, I didn't think it would work, but uh, it did. Hmm, there was a lot of money involved. We're not going to get a return on our investment anytime soon. Yep, we're not getting our money back. Okay, that's one more file I found. You know what the fun part is? This gave us a file, a thank you letter from and it um, did, in fact, tell us that um, he kept it for reference. that in I've fact he did uh, company somewhere. build a secure room inside his house, and um, <laughs> we already knew that. Uh, I assume we will solve the murder when we go through the uh, door. I do think we solved everything about the murder we could solve. It's just that there are like... Um, solving the murder is not the reason we were sent here. Uh, the reason we were sent here is to secure his um, files about uh, important vampire people. Um, so the mission actually involved um, co collecting six files and um, I always thought that solving the murder would e either lead you to the files or like give you some hidden bonus or something. So, um, you know, solving the murder isn't actually the reason we're here. Uh, all but one. We're only missing the one on Hilda McAndrews. Uh, so I don't think it's behind the uh, point of no return, like the room we can't return from. I think it's unlikely. Yeah. I'm not sure the last time I, um, the, the last time I went to a point of no return that just directly ended the mission. But, I mean, not getting one bonus objective is probably alright either way, so yeah, let's just, let's just go. Let's see what actually happened. So my money's on the four people. Yeah, it's one bonus objective. We solved a lot of stuff and... Eh, nah, don't worry, the ending is probably already ruined. Um. Let's just go. Oh no! Nope, this is a playable area, so the last file is probably here. Okay, uh, the last time I went to an alternative ending point, it just started a cutscene that ended the mission. So I thought this time might be the same. Jeez. That's where you were hiding. Aha! Trait gained detective! Minus 15 speed cost for the next deduction point. <laughs> Fantastic. Galeb demonstrated great intelligence in finding Jason Moore alive in the hidden room. His understanding of his surroundings will help him improve his powers of deduction. Haha! <laughs> nice. We got an achievement from the game. Huh? What the. Oh no, he was knocked evening, out. Jason. Mr. Bazori! I. Oh, how did you. Maybe think about letting us know the next time you build a private bunker. It's just that I... She sent me to find you. No. Not now. <laughs> she found out about everything, didn't she? I don't understand anything you just said. But get up. We're going. I can't. I 
absolutely have to catch a plane tonight. So he did not fake his own murder. I'm begging you. Please, just let me go. Okay. I mean, someone faked something, clearly. Well, I mean, let's hear from him. Go. What the hell is this mess all over your place? It's not my fault. I... I tried to cover up my departure. I... Um... My bodyguards wanted to take me to the prince. Right after the shooting at the party. But I... I couldn't. Your flight? Yeah. I wanted to buy me some time. I pretended I had to... To get some files that were at my house for the prince. Once I got here, I sent James yeah. to my office with my car. Supposedly to pick up some more files there. I killed Wu. Oh! By taking him by surprise. He killed his own. I cut off his head. He killed off his own bodyguard. Shoes. I put my college class ring on him. And gave him my wallet. I'm sorry, Mr. Bazori. I had no choice. You don't do things halfway, do you? And that's actually impressive. Taking care of his own bodyguards. Okay, so, um... The way the system works is I have one point of psychology. I, um, he has two. I have to pay, you know, this, uh, you see this currency on the upper left, it's uh, how much willpower I have and it reduces how much skills I can use each um, mission. Um, I can pay additional willpower to increase my uh, chance of success and I think willpower resets after the mission so I might as well just use all of it to get a 95% success chance. Yeah, I could spend 5 willpower for 41%, but then I only have 3 left and 3 isn't going to give me anything. Psych? Is an, it's a psychology skill or... What's your question? Oh? Oh? <laughs> and I okay. actually failed a 95% chance. To explain why you've got to go. Nice. I'm sorry, Mr. Bazori. I'm not allowed to talk about it. All right then. Suit yourself. I mean, honestly, if you don't want to tell me why you have to go, then honestly, that's on you. Oh, um. Also, he was at the party. The party is, um, a lot of vampires met up there to do diplomacy and stuff, um, and, uh, the, uh, FBI stormed the place and killed everyone. So, um, he... My guess is that he can somehow be traced as one of the responsible people for the vampires being found out, and he's probably gonna get executed when he breaches. We've the place. wasted enough time here. Get up. I'm not going to be able to go with you, Mr. Bazori. I I've lost too much blood. I'm having a hard time staying conscious. I must take you back to the prince. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm begging you. I've always refused. I, I want to stay free. <laughs> I'm not really giving you a choice. Oh. That's Drink. evil. Drinking a vampire's blood makes you stronger and generally a lot That's more enough. resilient. June will die if you don't let me go. Stay behind me. Having him drink having him drink his blood guarantees that he won't die of something stupid like blood loss. But um having Oh, no, I actually didn't get, get the last file. I must have missed it somewhere else. Um, but drinking a vampire's blood is very addicting. 
and if you drink it too often you become like a hundred percent loyal um uh, you become a hundred percent loyal uh weak version of yourself that just cannot say no to the vampire